continue to move into our area on Sunday, and this is the system that's going to be dumping several inches of snow. Here's the latest snowfall map. You can see most locations, especially just north of Highway 8, dealing with some lighter snow totals in the Northwoods, but most of us looking at three to six inches. This is going to be a system that's finally going to be bringing some widespread snowfall. We really haven't been experiencing that for quite some time. Often areas like La Crosse and even just south of Euclid in southern Minnesota will see the heaviest parts of the snow total. So if you are traveling west this weekend, this is what you need to know. The worst times to travel are going to be in the morning and the afternoon. There will be low visibility with very strong blowing snow, heavy snow, and it will cause some snow covered roads. Temperatures today. As we continue on through the rest of the day, highs will be in those low 20s, even experiencing some 30s or close to 30s as we get on through the rest of central Wisconsin, dealing with a couple of flurries in the forecast, 7 degrees for our low tonight, mostly cloudy conditions still sticking with us and calm winds. Here's your weekend though. We are tracking those chances for a couple of lingering flurries that won't be anything big, 21 degrees for your Saturday, but by Sunday, 27, so not that bad in terms of temperatures, but we are dealing with that heavier snow for Sunday. You can see that in the seven day forecast. We'll continue to see those chances for precipitation. No true Arctic air in the forecast anytime soon. So that is the bright side. We're finally experiencing these temperatures that are really seasonal. This is about the average for this time of year. So no sub zero temperatures really in the way, but we also don't really see any huge warm ups in the way either.